you know how you watch TV? I think I need some buzz for that. And it's called, and you, you're like clicking through, and uh, it, it's called, you know, I want to watch this program. I think I, I want to watch this, and you name the, name the show and whatever. But it's called a program because it's programming you. <laughs> it is programming all of us when we watch it. All this time you see, yeah. All this time, see, see, in my mind, the program, you know, you know, just on time, on time, you have to put the tune in the wrong program. That English is called program. Chinese is on time. Because it's really on time for you to watch. And a lot of times we enjoy the program as it's working in us. You know, we laugh, we cry, we feel all kinds of things. 然後好多時咧，我哋睇電視台為我哋安排啲節目咯，我哋我哋欣賞嘅，我哋識得喜怒哀樂咁樣，我哋我哋我哋中意佢哋安排啲嘢。Now there's a the Lord admonishes us also to watch to be careful what we look at and what we hear and listen to。我哋嘅父神咧，我警告我哋，我哋究竟睇乜聽乜咧，我哋要小心。And that is because our words that, that come out with our using our with using our tongue, the words that that we speak actually come from a place where, of our heart. Our heart is formed in a way to whatever is inside of it. That's what we're going to speak. 我哋要舌頭講嗰啲嘢咧，就反映我哋心中講嗰啲嘢。Uh, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. 啊，從我哋個啊心中呢個呢個充滿咧，我哋個舌頭就會講嘅。And the You can find that in Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what it is? Ah, Luke chapter six, verse forty-five. You know what And the the NIV says in Luke six verse forty five that a good a good man brings good things out of the good stored in his heart, and the evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored in up in his heart, for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And uh, so you might, that's a key verse, you might want to mark that in your Bible. So we, we are, the Lord tells us for our own good that we need to be careful what we entertain, entertain ourselves with. Be careful with what we listen to, whether it's on television, radio, gossip. People trying to sell us on an idea. To provoke an action, like, hey, let's go do this. You know, I was uh, going to pick people up at the MTR one time at, uh, for girls' night out on a Thursday night. I told them that I had a chance to go to the MTR for girls' night out on a Thursday night. I told them that I had a chance to go to the MTR for girls' night out on a Thursday night. I told them that I had a chance to go to the MTR for girls' night out on a Thursday night. I told them that I had a chance to go to the MTR for girls' night out on a Thursday night. 
試過一次啦，去揾嗰個人，不過我忘記咗嗰個人係咩樣。And so I asked, you know this. 然後我就走去問呢個人係嗰個人。I was looking for Sun Sun. 然後佢係講緊揾個人轉節目嘅。And so I I called Pastor Bell up and I said. 然後就打俾我。I said, what is she? What does what does Sun Sun look like? I don't remember. 然後問我佢係咩樣嘅。She says, well, she says, well. She's tall and has long black hair or long dark hair. I don't know. I don't know if right now he said black or dark. I I heard dark. But he probably said black. It doesn't matter. I I. So what happens? I see these. A lot of I see tall women with long dark hair, and they're pretty. And I walk up to them and I ask them if they're there for girls' night out. And they're like standing, looking at their phone, doing whatever, you know. Because I don't remember. I don't remember what she looks like. <laughs> so, so here I am going in the MTR, and I, I swear I know these women are thinking I'm giving them a line. They're giving them, giving them, they think I'm giving them a pickup line. And so. Uh, two of them said, no, it's not me. So I explained and I said, well, this was the person's name. She says, no, that's not me. <laughs> but one lady, she was dressed in, in this white kind of outfit. <laughs> and she was in the wrong place. She was on the other end of the MTR. <laughs> but I asked her, I says, are you here for girls' night out? You know, she just she just looked at me like, you know, what was that thing? Because she told me she said yes, I'm here for girls' night out. You know, and I'm thinking, you know, it's I'm here for girls' night out. She says, oh, and I'm thinking, oh, good, we've got a new a new person coming to the service. <laughs> and so I'm talking to her all about it, and I says, "Oh, I'm Pastor Richard." <laughs> and she's looking at me like she's never heard a line like this before. <laughs> And I said, no, really, I'm a pastor. <laughs> and, and are you here for Girls' Night Out? She says, yes, I'm here for Girls' Night Out. And I said, well, good. I can, he, he said, great, I can take you over there. She says, oh, I know where it is. She says, I know where Girls' Night Out is. I said, oh, great, well, I'll see you over there. She says, I'm waiting for a friend. And she'll be coming pretty soon. This is really fun, you know. And then, and then, and then, uh, and then uh, see, she's talking about her and her friend, her girlfriend, are going to go out that night. That's what she's talking about. She's going on a girl's night out. She's going out for girls' night with a friend. She's going to go to a, you know, a club or something. And so, so her friend came up and she says, "Oh, this is my friend." And then I says, "Okay, great." And she says, "You know, I'm looking for this other this other woman that's supposed to be here, and apparently I don't know. I guess it's not you." She says, "No, but I'm here for girls' night out." You know, and, and I said, "Okay." So I said, "Well, I guess I'm." Get, and then I talked to her about Pastor Philip. You know, I said, <laughs> 
She says, who's Pastor Philip? <laughs> so I like, think I'm Pastor Philip. Ah. <laughs> so, you know, because, see, she hadn't told me already that she's waiting for another person to come, another friend, a girlfriend. <laughs> So this thing compounds the situation. You know, you you So basically, basically, she's thinking that I'm asking her if she wants my friend Phil and I to come with them to go on their time out on the town. And so, anyway, the conversation never really ended, but she and her friend walked off and went through the MTR thing and did their card And she looked back at me, and she's, she's looking back at me as she's walking away, and I know what she's thinking. She's thinking, wow, I've never had such a conversation. <laughs> and then, so anyway, I called Philip back and I said, you know, I can't find Shim Shim. Where are you? Oh, I know. I And he said, she said, exit C, not A, C. <laughs> Oh, D. Was it D? D or C or something on the other end. The way the MTR is laid out, you got A and B on this end and C and D over here. And so anyway, I found, finally found the other, the other two women that were down there. So I told them, I said, I've been down there. And I didn't see her. I've been down there and I didn't see her, but I talked to two others. Oh, he said, I better call her. You know? <laughs> and I know, Philip, Pastor Philip's probably thinking, Richard, Richard's really getting himself into problems or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, 